So hi and welcome to this video. So as the title suggests, this is a Learn PHP video. Uh, so uh, it's been a long time since I made a Learn PHP video, but I'm going to start making them again soon. Uh, well, hopefully I'll be make I'll have made a few of them um, by the time you see this video, and uh, I will also be making more of the questions answered videos. I just haven't had a chance lately. So uh, without any further ado, let's get started. So uh, I have a blank PHP file apart from the uh, opening and closing uh, PHP tags. And today what we're going to be learning about is uh, while statements. So uh, what this does means is while something equals or uh, while, okay, while something is something, then we do something else. So for example, while one equals one, you could get your while loop to do something and since one always equals one uh, it will just loop forever um, okay I'll just uh, get started with an example so um, so uh, let's say um, while um, okay uh, we could get it to print using a while loop we can get our um, we can get PHP to print out a sentence as many times as we want, or we can get it to do something as many times as we want, or until um, something doesn't equal something any, anymore, which what I mean by that is if we did one equals one, it would loop forever, but um, that's what it's designed to do. So if we if we don't want it to loop forever, we have to um, change, we have to make it so that it's false, because if a while loop equals true, um, then it will loop forever. If until uh, until the condition uh, equals false, so that was probably too complicated. Um, I didn't really understand it myself, but I'm just going to show you an example. So if we create a variable and create a string inside of it called my string, and um, inside the my string variable, I'm just going to put a string and I'm just going to say this is my string so uh, I'm going to print it as well uh, so if I print my string we get printed out this is my string or echo uh, I've been doing a lot of Python programming lately so I use echo a lot, or I print a lot but uh, echo and print, uh, print and echo are basically the same, except echo is uh, very, very, very slightly quicker. So I uh, just use it instead, usually. But it doesn't really make, for um, con conventional purposes, they're basically the same. So here's a, here's my string and printed out in the page once, because, or echoed out in the page once, because that's all I told it. But if I was to echo it, I don't know how many times is that, six times? Uh, and refresh the page, it gets echoed out six times. Uh, but we could do that with a while loop. So now, uh, well, if we wanted it to print out six times, that would be really easy with a while loop because all we have to say is while, and we could say while count is less than six, uh, then echo my string. Whoops. Uh, my string and just to make it a bit easier to read we're going to append that break on the end of it so now we're going to so uh, here what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the uh, we're just going to go uh, below the string variable and we're going to create a new one called count and we're going to uh, set that equal to zero so um, as you can see, uh, let's just see what happens now so as you can see, the page takes a long, long time to load, uh, and I'm not even sure if it will, because uh, the reason is because count equals zero up here, and we've said while count is less than six, but we wanted to print it out six times, but um, we haven't done anything to make count more than six, so it's just going to keep going, and as you can see, it won't stop loading. So to fix this, all we have to do is say count plus plus oops so what this does is whenever this while loop executes 
uh, it says is count less than six. Since up here we uh, set it to zero, zero is less than six. So then what we're telling it to do is increase count the count variable by one. So uh, and then echo my string with a break at the end. So what this means is when we increase it by one, uh, the next time this while loop loops, uh, it's going to say is count less than six. Uh, now count's going to equal one. One is less than six. So then we, uh, um, so then we uh, run this loop again. And it's going to do that until count equals six. So, okay, here's our uh, result. As, as you can see, since it looped forever, the only reason it stopped is because I uh, told it to stop loading the page. But now, as you can see, it prints it six times because what it does is it says is count less than six when count equals zero. Yes, so then we move on. Uh, now count equals, since we increased it by one, count uh, at this stage count equals one. One is less than six, then we do it again. So now count equals two, two is less than six, and it keeps going until, oops, until uh, the count variable is equal to six. Uh, we can uh, prove this by uh, saying uh, space then we can just echo count beside my string so as you can see my string one two three four five six and if we said less than or equal to six uh, we'll just uh, echo one more on top so uh, that's really it for while statements uh, I mean that's uh, what they're usually used for for uh, checking something a lot of times and things like that. Uh, but, well, they're used not for checking things, but they're used for whenever uh, we want to loop over something a certain number of times. Uh, we do something like this with a while loop and a count variable, and then we just increase it every time we loop it until we get to our desired number. So uh, that's it for this video. Don't forget to favorite, like, and subscribe. Uh, and I will see you next time.